There's a very distracting squirrel out there doing really funky things in that tree. You cannot reach that hummingbird feeder, I'm sorry. Okay, so I apologize for this channel being kind of quiet lately. I've just like, I've had a lot going on in my personal life and the thing about video editing is it takes like 95 to 100% of my brain and sometimes that's just not available. Like lately I've just had so much going on in my brain that like 30 to 80% of my focus is elsewhere at any given time and I've just not been able to focus on the like long complicated tutorial video editing. So I decided to just do a nice quick one today. I just got back my Renoir boots from the shoe repair place yesterday and I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. So with American Duchess shoes, historical reproduction shoes, I love them. They're expensive and I'm willing to pay money for expensive things, but I can't do it that often. So what I decided to do early on was to buy one pair of American Duchess shoes per year. So I bought my Renoirs in 2019. They were a Black Friday purchase. I bought the Londoners in 2020, a little bit earlier in the year when they had a pre-order sale going on. And I actually bought the Emma boots for 2021 and they're still on pre-order. I haven't gotten them yet, but I ordered them in white and I'm going to dye them pale yellow to match the Emma 2020 boots. And then these were actually my uh, 2022 purchase already made because they were, of all of the 18th century shoes, the green Kensingtons were my favorite and they were about to be discontinued. So I just bought a pair on clearance because they still happen to have my size. Anyway, so this is my little collection I've been building over the last few years. Um, the Renoirs I bought first because that was, there was no question about that. I was definitely gonna buy these first because of multiple reasons. One, where I live, there's a lot of American Civil War um, historical costuming opportunities. There's a lot of reenactments. There are balls, there are like volunteer opportunities. So they were actually gonna be a super practical costume piece if I was going to pick a costume piece. Number two, I have always just loved this style of side button boots. They just bring back so much nostalgia from the kinds of like Little House on the Prairie, Pollyanna kinds of movies that I watched growing up. And three, because if I was going to buy a pair of just historical reproduction boots that I also wanted to wear with my modern clothes, it was gonna be these because like little black ankle boots are like a staple. So I love these, these were my first American Duchess purchase and I do not have any regrets on that. Um, the Londoners, I actually don't like that much. And I feel so bad saying that. I love the color gradient they did with these shoes. And I love, I mean, I just love the way they look. And when people like Bernadette wear them, they just look so right. However, when I wear them, they just look so wrong to me. Like I, I've never liked pointy toe shoes. And I just, and I think that maybe the last that these are based off of just isn't very good for my foot shape but like I just have not worn these ones nearly as much as I thought that I would. These are a new purchase and I haven't really gotten a chance to wear them out of the house yet, but also I can already tell you these are not something that I would ever wear like with my regular clothes. These are going to be costume only pieces and it's mostly because of the gigantic buckles. Like, ah, uh, I just, I can't see making that work. I mean, I'm, it's all personal and you can wear whatever you want. I'm sure some people would wear these with modern clothes and love it, but it's just, it's not my aesthetic, I don't think. Although the Emma booties I am hoping to wear with modern clothes, especially like when it's springtime coming and they're gonna be a nice like pale yellow color. I think that could be really cool. So we'll see. Anyways, that's kind of like a mini review on the pieces that I've bought and how I like them. But the Renoir boots, since these are the oldest pair I have, they definitely have the most wear. And a month or two ago, I was wearing them out and about and I didn't realize that the little sole cap had fallen off and I wore them a full day without noticing that. So American Duchess shoes do come with little extra sole caps, which um, you can easily just like glue back in. However, because I had worn them a full day, it had started to like wear through the leather surrounding the sole. And I really felt like I needed a professional to kind of, if I wanted to keep them nice to kind of stretch that leather back down and professionally repair it before gluing these back on. We have one little tiny old fashioned shoe repair shop in town. And so when I took these in, he said, oh yeah, that's a simple fix. I can just glue those in or I could replace them with something. I could custom make something that would be a much better quality. And I was like, hmm, tell me more. <laughs> and then he was like, okay, I could also, at some point, if you want, since the soles are leather and kind of slippery, I could add a nice rubber sole with really good traction. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do all of it because I do love these shoes. I wear them a lot and I want them to last. So um, these shoes, as you can see, they've got a decent amount of wear. 
It's not like a crazy amount, but um, the sole cap, like it's just popped into place. And then the, um, the leather, if I, it's partly on me, I haven't really, I haven't used like the leather balms and stuff like you're supposed to, but the leather was starting to crack pretty bad on my Renoirs. These ones are still looking pretty good. I mean, I can see a little bit of where cracks might come into play in the future, but I'll probably just, if I decide to keep these shoes and keep wearing them, I'll probably just take them in and have them get a nice sole attachment too. And I should mention that I have not like treated these shoes with any uh, particular kid gloves. Um, I don't mind paying extra money for a really well-made quality item. However, I want to use it. I'm not going to pay a lot of money for a beautiful thing if it's just going to sit behind glass. Like I will pay more money for something that's practical. And so I have worn these just in my daily life. I washed these. Before I started filming this video, I scrubbed the soles because there was chicken poop caked on them. You live your life, I'll live mine. Um, so like, <laughs> I just, I wanna be able to wear these shoes as they would have normally been worn historically, not as a costume piece. I want really good quality daily wear shoes. So I was a bit salty when I took them in and I had to like, I brought the extra sole caps and I was like, well, I should have known better. I should have known that the sole was likely to fall off because otherwise it wouldn't have already come with extra pieces. However, I changed my mind. <laughs> Modern shoes aren't made to last and they're definitely not made to be repaired. They're made to be worn, worn out, thrown away, and new ones bought. These shoes, because they have the leather sole, they were actually super easy for the repairman to add onto them and they look fantastic. Like I've already worn them, so you can already see a little bit in the sole, but he replaced it and it's a nice grippy, thick rubber and he nailed it into place. And then he added this sole attachment and then he dyed the rest of it. And there were some little scratches on the back of this boot. He didn't repair. Okay, can you? Can you focus? Thank you. And there were a few different scratches like here and down here and he didn't repair those scratches but he did die over them too I can tell because there was a bit of a color difference in them before. Um, so I'm really really happy with the job he did and here's the kicker. It was $27. It was only $27 for him to take this pair of shoes that I love that are already well worn in and he basically gave them a brand new life. You know, when people talk about these type of shoes lasting somebody 10 years, it's not like they didn't need repaired, but they could be repaired. And that to me is the essence of why I love historical clothing and historical sewing techniques and historical reproduction items because things were made to be repaired, they were made to last. And yeah, that's just something that I felt like sharing. I have no hesitation in the future to take this pair or you know, if this pair got to the point where it needed it, take them in and have them resold or have the soles built onto. So yeah, that's all I really had to say. This was just kind of a little short video that I could make talking about something that I had on my mind while I catch up on other more complex video editing projects. So. Um, have a good week. Hopefully one on making this nice little side button skirt will be up next week. Let's hope. Um, so yeah, see you then.